This is the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief, keeping you informed about the happenings in Annapolis and the area. Local news, local sports, local events, local opinion, and of course, local weather. The Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief starts now. Good morning. It's Friday, January 31st, 2020. This is John Frenet, and this is your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Yesterday morning, as we were recording the Daily News Brief, all hell broke loose on the Lower Peninsula in Annapolis. The Anne Arundel County Fire Department responded to a house fire after receiving multiple 911 calls reporting the dwelling fire at 3526 Newport Avenue. This is in the Arundel on the Bay community, and they arrived to find heavy fire conditions from a two-story single-family house. He quickly escalated to two alarms, bringing 76 firefighters and more than 20 pieces of equipment to the area that is not served by hydrants. The fire was brought under control in about 70 minutes, and as a result, two adult occupants who did escape the home prior to the fire department arriving have been displaced. The cause of the fire is under investigation by members of the Anne Arundel County Fire and Explosives Investigation Unit, and very fortunately, there were no reports of any injuries. Glenn Miller was down on the scene there, and if you want to go to ionanapolis.net, he does have some photographs of that scene. On Wednesday morning, the Drug Enforcement Unit for the Annapolis Police Department executed a search warrant on an apartment in the Hackam managed Harbor House community in the city's Eastport section. This all went down at 5 a.m., and police entered the apartment in the 1100 block of Madison Street. Once inside, they found 13 grams of crack cocaine, 831 grams of marijuana, and one gram of suspected heroin. The two occupants of the home were arrested. Desheria Franklin, 48, of Annapolis, was charged with two counts of possession of CDS, and Artavius Johnson, 32, of Glen Burnie, was also charged with possession of CDS with the intent to distribute. Both of those individuals were released by the district court commissioner on their own recognizance after they were processed. Now, the question that comes to my mind is that Desheria Franklin lists her address as Tyler Avenue, which is in Hacka's Robinwood community, and Artavius Johnson lists his address as Glen Burnie. So why were they living in Hacka's Harbor House? Things that make you go, hmm... Acting Mayor Rhonda Pindell Charles will be swearing in David Gerald as the next city manager for the city of Annapolis a little bit later on today. That gets underway in city council chambers at 3.30 p.m. Gerald is going to become the fourth city manager, and he does replace Teresa Sutherland, who served for almost two years in the position, and she is stepping away from the job tomorrow. Gerald has been the director of Public Works Department since 2010. He briefly jumped up to Baltimore for a job and then came back down during the Panelides administration. He will be paid $180,000 a year, and over at the Department of Public Works, Marsha Patrick, who is the current assistant director, will serve as the acting director until they find a replacement. Hey, congratulations go out to Liquefied Creative. They're based right here in Eastport. They are a branding and advertising agency, and they scored three 2019 Marcom Awards. They won a Platinum Award for the video slash film slash corporate image product that they made. It was their own company culture video called We Are Liquefied Creative. In the nonprofit category, they won gold for a video produced in celebration of Leadership Anne Arundel's 25th anniversary t- entitled Igniting Leadership. And they received another gold in the television, broadcast, and cable category for a commercial spot produced for the giant National Capital Barbecue Battle. The Marcom Awards recognize outstanding achievements by creative professionals involved in the concept, direction, design, and production of marketing and communication materials and programs. So I guess Marcom is marketing and communications. Congratulations to Liquefied. And finally, as we wrap up our news today, man, Annapolis steps up to the plate again. Last Saturday, January 25th, at Fado, Fado, Katzoff Brothers, the city of Annapolis, organized an Australia Day benefit for the human and wildlife victims of the Australian bushfires. Two charities were selected to receive the funds raised at the event, the Australian Red Cross and Wires, which is an Australian wildlife charity. Mayor Buckley was on hand, along with hundreds of other people, and he was able to wrangle up a baby wallaby to come with him. Many businesses and organizations also donated prizes for the silent auction. The bands donated their time. Those include Dublin 5, Mac and Blue, Long Time Coming, East is East. And with very little promotion and a $5 suggested donation at the door, boy, the public turned out en masse. And yesterday, acting Mayor Rhonda Pindell-Charles was joined by representatives 
of Katzoff Brothers as well as Anheuser-Busch and Fado, and they came up with a check totaling $13,496 for the two entities. Annapolis never fails to disappoint me. What a great effort and what a great show of support. All right, that does wrap it up for the top news today. Please make sure you're checking out ionanapolis.net throughout the day because we do update it throughout the day. If you're someplace where you can leave us a recommendation or a review, please do that because it really does help us grow. It is Friday. We do have a list of things that you may want to consider doing for the weekend. And other than that, you need to hang tight for about a minute because we have George Young with your local DMV weather forecast. He's coming up right after this. Hey, Annapolis, Eastern Shore, and Anne Arundel County. My name's Rick Peters, and I'm the president of Solar Energy Services in Millersville, Maryland. Need a new job in the new year to help take you in a different direction? Maybe you aren't feeling fulfilled in your current job and want to be part of the excitement and growth of the clean energy industry. Consider coming to work for Solar Energy Services and give yourself a new career and fresh start at a company that not only offers competitive pay and benefits, but also cares about our employees as much as we care about our customers. That says a lot because we've been in business for over 40 years and we know how to provide five-star service. Visit SolarSaves.net or call 410-923-6090 today. We are hiring immediately for solar installers, drafting specialists, and commercial project managers as we prepare for another great year. Are you up for the challenge? Apply today. Sunshine's a wasting. Sunshine, sunshine, nothing else can make me feel so fine. Going out? You need the most up-to-date local weather. Here's George Young from DMV Weather in Annapolis with today's forecast. Hey everyone, this is George with DMV Weather and this is your Eye on Annapolis forecast for Friday, January 31st. Last day of January 2020 and it should be a fairly nice and normal late January day for the Annapolis region with plenty of sunshine and highs 42 to 47 degrees for most. And once this day is over, January will go down in the books as one of the warmer Januarys on record, with temps having averaged between 5 and 8 degrees above average across pretty much all of Maryland, D.C., Virginia, and Delaware. Then comes tomorrow, which marks the start of the weekend and the first day of February, and we will likely see plenty of clouds and a few rain showers possible as well, especially along and well south and east of Interstate 95, as the storm near the coast brings some additional Saturday rain to the region, which will be the fourth of five Saturdays this year to have measurable rainfall, if and when it does occur. But the upside of it all is clearing is expected for Super Bowl Sunday, with sunshine and highs 45 to 50 degrees. So get the grills and smokers and whatever else going outside to celebrate the big game and enjoy the weekend ahead. And as always, be safe out there, especially on Super Bowl Sunday with various festivities going on and travel needs across the region. Okay, that's it for today. This is George Young of DMV Weather. Make it a great weekend and be sure to get our free app on all of your devices by searching the Apple or Google App Stores for DCMDVA Weather. And also follow us on Facebook and Twitter and on our website at dmvweather.com. So you can always stay weather informed. Dirty house? Call a spouse. That's right. Facts are, men don't always listen when it comes to cleaning the house. Spouses Cleaning Houses does. They clean almost anything. Fridge, oven, tub, showers, walls, porches, floors, ceilings, carpets, upholstery, tables, counters, pictures, mirrors, lights, fans, windows. They even take out the trash. Spouses Cleaning Houses has more than 13 years experience maintaining sparkling clean homes in and around Annapolis with respect and dedication. The friendly and flexible cleaning professionals at Spouses listen, understand, and act to meet nearly all your cleaning requests. For that breath of fresh air, clean feel, call a spouse at 410-571-9428 or at SpousesCleaningHouses.com. Just in time for your summer get-togethers, they're offering a spectacular summer savings, 20% off your first cleaning. That's right, save 20%. Just call a spouse, 410-571-9428 or at SpousesCleaningHouses.com. Spouses Cleaning Houses. Men may not listen. The spouses do. Every weekend, there's something exciting going on in the Annapolis area. Be sure to visit ionanapolis.net to sign up for a newsletter highlighting all the weekend events. Here are our top picks for this weekend. 
Boy, this week seemed to fly by, but it is the weekend again, and let's get it going. It starts out tonight at Maryland Hall at 7.30. It is a film screening and storytelling of a film called I'm Not Leaving. This is done in partnership with St. Anne's School of Annapolis, as well as Maryland Hall and Connect Rwanda, and it's all happening in the Bowen Theater, which is on the lower level of Maryland Hall. What the deal is, is back in 1994, Rwandan genocide broke out. Carl Wilkins was the only American who refused to leave the country. In 2011, he completed Completed a book detailing the days titled I'm Not Leaving, and a 40 minute documentary was produced. Carl will be there. He will do questions and answers after the screening of the film. Not a very light film to be watching on a Friday night, but boy, that will be a good film to see. If you want to get up bright and early on Saturday morning, it is a big book sale. It is the big Books for International Goodwill book sale. This gets underway at 451 Defense Highway. It's in the industrial park as you go past like the VEIP center on the left. And they have more than 70,000 books covering all categories on their shelves. And they're going to be priced at $3 for hardbacks, $2 for softbound, $1 for pocket paperbacks, as well as children's books, which are priced even lower. Some podcast news at noon on Saturday, we are going to be releasing our latest legacy business series. And this one is a company that you probably have never heard of, but you probably know about once you listen to it, The Brick Companies. And speaking of other podcast news, you want to make sure you check out the discussion we had with Ray Parker Jr. That's releasing a little bit later on today. He's the guy that wrote Ghostbusters, who you're going to call for the hit film back in the 80s. We spoke with him about how Stevie Wonder rescued him from a life of drafting for Ford Motor Company in Detroit, how he opened up for the Rolling Stones, how he got called to write the Ghostbusters theme what he's doing now, and actually we talked to him a little bit about the death of Kobe Bryant because he lives in Calabasas, very close to where Kobe's helicopter went down, plus he is a pilot. That was a really interesting one. Ray Parker Jr., he is coming to the Rams Head on February 7th, and there are a couple tickets left. If you pick one up, make sure you say hello to me. I will be there geeking out for Ray Parker Jr., A little bit later on Saturday morning, and this goes every Saturday in February, and it's Historic London Town and Gardens. They're going to sponsor a winter lecture series on LGBTQ plus history in Maryland. And the first one's up on this Saturday. It gets underway at 10 a.m. And tomorrow, Kikokian of the Wild Turkey Clan, Cedarville Band of the Piscataway Conoy, will present Decolonizing Gender and Sexuality in 2020. They'll explore the sacred knowledge of a two-spirit society's seven genders, and the honor of being a woman in an indigenous cultures of Turtle Island. Discussion topics are going to include sex, gender, marriage, matriarchal societies, community-based responsibility, and dismantling oppressive systems. I bet this is going to be a fascinating series. So if you're not doing anything for the next four Saturdays at 10 a.m. in the morning, historic London town and gardens. Sunday, February 2nd, there are two Super Bowls. There is Super Bowl XIV that gets underway at 1130. It goes till 130, and it's happening at the Heritage Baptist Church on Forest Drive in Annapolis. Yes, that is the Super Bowl, S-O-U-P. E-R-B-O-W-L. It is a fundraiser for the Lighthouse Shelter. They've been doing this for 14 years, hence XIV. And cumulatively, they've donated almost $30,000. It is free to attend, but they do ask for a donation at the door if you can afford it. And you will have representatives from the Lighthouse Best Culinary Arts Jobs Training Program Ladling Out Soups prepared by Chef Zachary Pope. The menu soups include chicken noodle, baked potato, and chili. You'll also have salad, fresh rolls, and dessert available. Again, admission is free. Donations are requested to help benefit the Lighthouse Shelter. Gets underway at 1130. Goes till 130 at the Heritage Baptist Church at 1740 Forest Drive in Annapolis. Now, as for Super Bowl LIV 54, that gets underway Sunday night. San Francisco versus Kansas City. I have no dog in that game. My winner is going to be the Wings and Beer and the Kansas City Chiefs. All right, there's your choices for the weekend. Choose wisely, choose safely. We will see you here on Monday. When a ring from the United States Naval Academy comes into Zachary's for a center stone, it always makes us wonder, where's this one going? Where's this one been? A nuclear sub in the North Atlantic? A carrier deck in the South Pacific? The moon? 52 astronauts are Academy graduates from Iwo Jima to Okinawa. Corregidor to the Coral Sea, Midway to the Persian Gulf, Congress to the White House. These rings go where America goes. 73 that went to war were awarded the Medal of Honor. 
But wherever they go, wherever they may serve, our admiration goes with them. Zachary's. Online at Zachary'sJewelers.com. More than a jewelry store, a jeweler. You've been listening to the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Tell your friends and colleagues this is the podcast where you can keep up on the latest with what's going on in Annapolis. And also tell them about our website, ionanapolis.net, where you can find even more information. This podcast comes to you every Monday through Friday at 7 a.m., keeping you informed with the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. And take a moment to listen to our other podcast, The Maryland Crabs, released every Thursday at noon.